Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I hope you are all doing well. In this video series I will show you how I made this antique teapot 3D model. The video series is of three parts, modeling, UV unwrapping, and texturing. In this first part of the video series, we will see how to make the model in Autodesk Maya, so let's get started. So here we are in Maya. Create a cylinder and position it according to the reference image. Go to face mode, select all the faces, deselect the middle faces, and then delete the top and bottom faces. Now select these top vertices, and then scale them from the middle. And then select these vertices, and scale them up to match the reference image. Create an edge loop in the middle, and scale it up. And then select the top edge loop, extrude it, and scale it to match with the reference image. Create edge loops wherever needed, and then scale them up to make smooth shape. Now for the bottom part, select the edge loop and apply fill hole. Then select the face and apply poke face. I will select these faces and then delete them. Similarly for this top part of the model, take a cylinder, delete the top and bottom faces, then create the shape by scaling up from the middle. Extrude the edge loop and create edges wherever needed and then scale them according to the reference image. Now for this part, take a cylinder, rotate it 90 degrees on x-axis, then scale it down, and then position it to make a reference here. Then go to face mode, drag and select these faces, make sure you have selected the correct faces. Then extrude it out and position it here. Similarly, extrude out the bottom faces, and then position it there. Go to face mode, select these faces, and then apply extract faces. Now select this part, and this part, and then apply combine. Now then, go to face mode, select these faces. Then go to bridge, option box. From here, choose Smooth Path plus Curve, and then Apply. Now from this channel, increase the divisions to 5. Now select the curve, and then adjust the vertices of the curve, to smooth out the mesh. Then go to Edit, Delete by Type, and then History. Now select both of this mesh, and combine them. Then select these connecting vertices, and merge them. Now let's create the neck part. Create a cylinder and rotate it 90 degrees in Z axis. But first, let's create a curve. Go to Curve Shelf, select the Curve tool, and then create a curve, starting from here. Go to Vertex Mode and smooth out the shape of the curve. Now select the cylinder, go to face mode, and delete these faces, only keep the circular portion. Now select this mesh, shift select the curve, and isolate them. Then activate the middle pivot, hold C key and click middle mouse button in the curve. It will snap the mesh into the curve. 
Go to face mode, select this faces, shift select the curve, and extrude. Now increase the divisions to 10. Now select this mesh, and delete the history. Now go to vertex mode, select the middle vertex, and press Ctrl and F11 on your keyboard to select these faces. And then delete them. Similarly, select these faces, and delete them. Now select the edge loops, and scale them to match with the reference image. Create edge loops wherever needed, and then adjust them to make smooth shape. Now, select this body portion, and apply smooth to it. I will adjust this bottom portion. Similarly, for this handle portion, I will use the same method to create the shape, by using curve. Then adjust the edge loops, by scaling them from the middle, according to the shape of the reference image. Now then, extrude out this edge loop, and make the connecting part with the body. Give supporting edge loops in the corner edges, to hold the sharp edge. Drag and select these faces, and extrude it. Adjust the shape and make it smooth. Now then, select this neck portion, and extrude it, to give some thickness to the mesh. Then go to edge mode, select these edge loops, and apply bevel to give supporting edges. Similarly, give some thickness in the handle portion. And then apply bevel on the corner edges to hold the sharp edge. The modeling part is now completed. In the next part of the video series, you will learn about how to do the UV unwrapping of the model. So guys, I hope you like this tutorial. Subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notifications first whenever there is any new video in my channel. Feel free to ask me anything regarding this video in the comments section. Stay safe, and I will see you on the next video.